work can be stressful. Work can be stressful. If you're one of those people like me and you have to leave and go to a job that you know for yourself that work can be absolutely stressful. It can be frustrating. And as Christians, sometimes it's hard for us to get out of that frustrated zone. It's hard for us to decompress and go, huh? But we have to release those anxieties from the day. Remember, God told us in his word to be anxious for nothing but with all things, if with prayer and supplication, to make our requests known unto him. God is the God of peace. And so today we're going to talk about some ways that we as Christians can release our frustrations, let go of our day, and relax as we head home. How do we eliminate those frustrations from our job? How do we get over it when we've had a bad day at work or when our spouse is not quite doing what we want them to do? Our kids are frustrating us. How do we get into the spiritual zone? One of the ways we're going to do that is we're going to have to mentally make an effort to get out of that frustrated place. You have to go, hey, stop. Take a deep breath. We're going to focus on some scripture. We're going to focus on God's word. We're not going to focus on the situation. We're not going to focus on work because I am a firm believer that when we leave work, work needs to stay at work. And whether we're Christians or whatever, we have to make a, have a separation between work and home or work and our spiritual lives. We have to separate. Now, if you're the pastor of a church and your job is uh, taking care of your congregation, you may can't quite separate it as well as someone else can. But there has to be a conscious separation between who you are as a work person, as an employee, and who you are when you're getting in your place with God. I know that sounds a little weird, but it's just like when you when they went into the tabernacle years ago, there was the Holy of Holies. So when we're getting ready to go into the Holy of Holies, we have to whoo, decompress and let go of all those frustrating things that have been with us throughout the day. Another way we can do that, we have to make sure that we are being grateful. Gratitude goes a long way. So whether you have a gratitude journal or you decide to just stop for a few moments and think about all the things that you have to be thankful for, then do that if you don't name but about three to five things each day after you get finished with work or after your day has started or ended, then do that. Do those things and help release your mind from the frustrations and from the stress. You can read. Read God's word. Take the time to get to know him. Spend some time reading his word. Spend some time reading your Sunday school book or reading your Bible or reading a spiritual journal. Eliminate distractions. <laughs> Eliminate them. And it can sound hard to do, but you have to consciously get rid of those things that's distracting you from focusing on God, from focusing on his word, from focusing on who you are as a Christian. Go into your quiet place. Go into the place where it's calm, uh, where it's quiet, where you can relax and recenter yourself. As they say in the secular world, I'm going to my happy place. Well, go to your happy place. As you get to your happy place, then you can relax and focus more on God and his word. And you can release those stresses from the day. I think it is vital for us as people, as human beings, to have a separation between work and home. Separate yourself from your job. Your complete identity should not be tied to your job. Uh, I don't care what your job is. There should be a separation between your home time and your job time. So don't get work all of your time and you come home frustrated and you're still thinking about work. And trust me, I did it for years. I am a teacher and I drug work home. I know for right around 20 years and it took me that long to realize, hey, this is getting me nowhere. It's cluttering up my house. It's messing up my time. I should be spending with my family. And I had to make a conscious decision not to do that. So I'm asking you to do the same. Make sure that you have a separation. Disconnect. Disconnect yourself from your cell phone, from phone calls, from your computer, whatever it is that's going to keep you from spending those moments to get into the zone, to get back into yourself and to relax. I've told this before on my other channels where I talk about teaching, but I have a girlfriend 
who was also a co-worker, I promise you, when it was time to get out of work, she was out of work. She was not going to answer that phone. If it was one minute past time, she was not picking that phone up. And if you hit past that time and you were on the phone with her, she was going to quickly get off of the phone with you. And so it's not being rude. It is safeguarding your time. It's safeguarding your mental health. And I know that may sound crazy. We're talking about relaxing and unwind as Christians, but that is very important for our mental and spiritual health. So let's make sure we're taking care of us. So guys, I thank you so much for listening. This has been a wonderful with Two Cute Life Lessons. I'll see you in the next video. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up. That helps me to keep bringing you more spiritual truths. And I will see you guys in the next video.